Before I found Peaks, my life was full of a lot of loneliness. I felt like I was alone in the world. I didn't have any direction, any purpose. And I was really just trying to find myself and find out who I was. As humans, we have this innate desire to connect with others. And for me, it felt like there was some sort of block where I would try to, but opening up and being truly seen in front of people was really difficult for me. I think that's really what sort of led me into using substances in the first place. I remember the first time it was that, that anxiety inside of me of, am I going to be accepted? Am I going to be loved by these people? It really just, it, it fell away. That feeling in itself, I think, became really um, addictive in a way. I was convinced that I was more likable, more lovable, more fun to be around when I was high. And it was a delusion, is really what it was. Once I started um, using substances alone, that's when I started to recognize, hey, this is not normal. It's not serving its purpose anymore, which was that social connection piece. Now this is something else. This is an endless cycle, and everything that I did just felt meaningless. The stakes kept getting higher. At first, it was more important than just showing up to work on time. That was the first stage. So then it became getting my next high was more important than showing up to a family event. It became more important than food, shelter, all my basic needs. And that's where it took me. It was the only reason that I was alive. The thing that I was living for. I had people in my life give up on me. I gave up on myself. And that is the one thing that stayed consistent. I think the entire time that I was fighting is my mom never gave up on me. She was always there every single time, just trying to get me into the next treatment, trying to help. I'd been to nine treatment centers before I came into Peaks and so many treatment centers that I had been to it was the same story you just feel like you're a number in a system and at Peaks it was completely different it was um, the gender specific individualized treatment my therapist was specifically paired with me to suit my needs because I had a lot of unresolved trauma. And that was a big part of why I continued to relapse. I was on the men's side and having that camaraderie with the other men in the program, it was truly the first time that I felt that I was myself without any, the use of any drugs. It was the first time that I truly felt accepted for who I was and I I don't think it I ever experienced that at another treatment center just because of the setting it was so unique to anything I had gone through there is really no limit to how much personal attention that I got when I was at peace I took a leap of faith honestly and I did it a lot of times I took a lot of leaps of faith and I think the thing that was really different is peaks did not make me feel like a number it takes one step all it takes, just a little bit of momentum. Call a family member, call a loved one. There's nothing that I could have done alone. If I was having a hard time, if I was struggling, 
you bet that someone was going to be by my side.